Hello, good evening to everyone. Welcome to Tech Easy. Today in this video, we'll see how you can set up Zira account with MySQL combination. Installing Zira on the local host with MySQL as the database. So I'll do a complete video tutorial A to Z. Please do watch this video tutorial till the end. First, I'll start the process with downloading MySQL setup. First, I'll set up all the database required things on my computer. Later, I'll try to install Zira until you get this login page for Zira, which is on local host. Please do watch video till the end. On Google, you can search as MySQL Community Server 64 bit as my laptop is 64 bit. You can click on this URL dev.mysql.com slash download. See, this is the website. And here you need to just, yeah, here you need to choose the operating system as Microsoft Windows. Then you need to click on this, go to download page. And 32 or 64 bit, you can click. What I'll do is I'll drop the link in the description. You can directly go to description and click for this link. So you can download any one of this. I'm clicking on this bottom one, the second one download. And it is asking me to sign up for Oracle account. So I'll click on sign up. Till now, I don't have an Oracle account. If you already have an existing Oracle account, right away you can click on login and directly log into the Oracle account. So, but now I'm just registering, but I'm skipping this step. I successfully registered and I logged in. Then I see this download button. Just click on this download button. It is 304 MB, so it will take a little bit of while. Once it is downloaded, just uh, go to your download folder and right click on this and yes you can click on install at the top when you right click you'll see something like install click on the top option like install once you click on install the installation process will begin yeah it is the process of installing mysql 8.4 community server is already started on my computer as soon as it is it is finished you'll see a pop-up you need to choose server only then click on next what is this error the selected path already exists so yeah i have an older version that's the reason it is showing me like this for you it won't show you anything like this what i need to do is i need to remove this particular folder which is already exist on my computer i'll go to this pc then c drive then program data then mysql and i'll delete the current existing folder so remember this error or the issue you won't see this i only have this that's the reason i deleted the folder and click on a c that uh, error automatically uh, went off and i can click on next now i can continue with the installation process i'll click on next and here it is showing that the default port is 3306 and development computer i'll click on next everything is fine click on next remember this is important here you need to choose the password for me i just choose this root and i repeat the root remember this password you need to enter while you using the sql client command prompt so they just click on execute it will take like two to three minutes once it is completed on the window search you need to search as sql client i'll show you i'll show you it is taking a bit of time like five to ten minutes it may take once it is finished, you need to click on this finish at the bottom. Yeah, see there is an option like finish. You need to click on this finish option. And after that, on the window search, I'll show you. Yeah, finish. Yeah, everything is finished. Successful inst installation has been successful. On window search, just search as client or SQL client. SQL, MySQL 8.0 command prompt client double click on that so that this pop-up will be appearing this is command line prompt for sql i entered the password root so whatever the uh, password you have chosen you need to enter the password here so we'll try to do some basic commands like uh, i'll create db this is wrong uh, what i'll do is i'll use show databases so this will show up all the existing databases i'll use something like yeah, once you have successfully installed MySQL 8.0, this is the command front for MySQL which will get open. So what you need to do is you need to create a database user and a database and then you need to give the permissions for the created database user on the database. I'll show you how you can do that. 
first of all uh, we'll just clear everything now tls column so everything is clear the first thing you need to do is check the current databases in the sql for this you need to write a command called show databases colon yeah this will just list all the databases available in your current installed sql server okay see these are the list of database available so what i'll do is i'll just create a fresh new database and the database user first of all i'll create the database user to do this the syntax is very simple create user and the username you can give any user name for that matter i'll just uh, give something like uh, like new user that's it colon p query zero and okay the rows affected is zero this means the query is successful query okay zero rows affected so if you want the documentation you need to just on the google you need to search as zero connectivity with mysql and here you can click on this particular link so all the documentation will be available here step by step so you can follow my commands what i am writing or you can follow this whole documentation see here create user username identify by password so i didn't give the password but you can write this also so i'll create one more user with the password see here I just forgot to mention the password. This one. Create user Arun maybe. And I have created a new user with the password admin123. And the next step you can follow is create the database. Just copy the entire this thing, this command. And just paste it over here and execute this. Where Jira DB is the database name. So you can give whatever name you want. So I'll modify this. So uh, what I'll give is DB. Yeah. So immediately I'll check show databases here. See where it's here. DB is created. Now I need to grant the permissions. The third step here is the third step grant all the permissions. So for this, I'm going to execute this command, which is grant all permissions on the particular database to the particular user. So here, when I try to copy from that official documentation of the website, see here. If I want to copy this, there I got an error and issue. That's the reason I am doing this. And I'll just change the username to Arun and the Jira DB to DB. Okay. DB. And I'll try to execute this. See, zero rows connected. So now our MySQL part configuration is set up. Now we can move to the Zira installation part. Then once it is completed, we can link this user created and this DB created. The user is Arun, the DB is TechDB. And we'll try to connect both Zira and this MySQL and we'll have a successful connection between Zira and MySQL so that we can work on. Yeah, see here I have completed database user creation database creation and i have grant all the permission this part is completed and we'll move to the fourth part it is saying edit the uh, my.ini file on my mysql folder so how why to edit this it is saying find this mysql id mysql d and paste these four lines just below that one two three four so now i'll copy these four these four lines and just i'll paste it over my.ini file how you can search my.ini 
so actually you can use this one also by going to this pc on your computer just click on this pc and just search for my.ini here or you can directly also search so how you can directly search uh, you can go to this pc then click on the c drive then click on program data then click on mysql then you need to click on my Ser mysql server 8.0 and here right click on it and just if possible open with notepad plus plus see here don't open with notepad better you open with note plus 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 and paste these four lines just below mysql d see here you can copy from here one by one these four here the, the, the bottom one also and just save the file once you copy these four lines click on the save that's it you can close this yeah mysql installation part is completely over it is successfully finished now we'll try to download zira software and then connect this zira with mysql 8.0 so on your chrome open google and search for zira download for windows and this is the website you need to open atlassian dot slash software slash zira slash download i'll drop the link in the description you can go through that and the version is 9.12.14 and here I just filter it to Windows 64 bit as my laptop is 64 bit Windows 11 laptop. So I'll click on this download. So the download gets started. Once it is finished, open the folder and right click on it and click on run as administrator or double click on this. So as soon as you click on run as administrator, Zira installation pop up will be uh, shown to you. That means installation of Zira has begun. Okay. Yeah. It has started. See here, installation vision of Jira. Next, I need the custom installation. Choose the radio button custom. Click on the next. And this path is okay. See program files, atlation slash Jira. Okay, this is fine for me. So I'll click on next. I'll click on next. Jira name is okay. Click on next. And the port number 8081 is available for me. So I'm not changing it. If it is not available, you need to change it here. Right now, I'm keeping it to default. So click on next and click on next install so just click on install and my computer is asking me to allow the permission so I just click on allow the permission so next and yeah my setup is completed so the browser will open localhost 8080 and before going any further you need to open your computer then head over to C then program files then find the Atlassian folder and give the full control permissions by clicking on the properties then clicking on the security here and reach to the all users or working users and check whether you have the full control you need to click on edit and give the full permissions for the user for this folder this is to avoid any permission access on the folder so once you give this step everything works fine so now the zero on this computer is installed as a service so i need to search services on my computer and open the microsoft windows services and here i need to find atlassian zira service so where is this atlassian zira yeah i'll quickly restart this service once it will stop the service and restart the service or you can do laptop restart also anything is fine and just refresh the page once okay and the setup is successful i'll set up myself i choose i will set up myself and i have my own database and that database is mysql 8.0 and the host name is localhost and see here i need to download jdbc driver because to bridge between mysql and zira i have to download one uh, jdbc connector which is in the documentation i'll show you see copy the mysql jdbc driver and this is available here don't worry i'll drop the link in the uh, description for the same download i will just choose it to platform independent and i'll download this zip folder so that i need to unzip this and copy the jar file to a particular location which is the uh, atlassian zira library so it is asking me to sign up for the oracle then the download appears it has successfully downloaded to my computer so yeah you will find everything in this documentation but don't worry i'll give the uh, 
link for the download. So host name is local, local host, and the port is 3306. Keep it like that. And uh, previously in the MySQL section, you have created database and the database username along with the password. So you need to provide those details here and click on test the connection. I will get an error something like JDBC connection is not at setup. See here, cannot find the driver width. So I just downloaded this jar file, but I didn't copy it to the lib folder. So what I need to do is I need to the I need to reach the folder where I have downloaded this. Yeah, this is my computer download folder and this is the jar file what I have downloaded. This is the compressed folder. I need to unzip this. Right click and unzip and find the jar file. Yeah, where is this? This is the jar file. Right click on copy. Head over to C and the program files. And Atlassian here. This is where my Atlassian is copied. Open the Zira. And under Zira, there is a folder called lib or library lib. Where is this? Yes. Open lib and paste it over here. So now the JDBC connection driver is available. Now, if you click on this test connection option, okay, I'll minimize this. Now, I for just once, I'll restart the service of Atlassian Zira. If possible, you can restart your computer also, computer or laptop. Anything is fine. But now I'm just restarting the service. Okay. And now I'll refresh this page once, this localhost 8080. And I'll fill up the details all at once. MySQL 8.0, hostname is localhost. Database name is techdb, username is Arun. Password I have chosen in MySQL and click on the test connection. This time the database connection test was successful. So I'll click on next. If you do have any other doubts, please do ask in the comments. So I'll clarify it and I'll make it to public and click on next. It will ask for the license. So I click on generate Jira trial license. See, this is the data center selected. I'm just giving my organization name and click on generate license. So yeah, this is, yeah, this page has opened and here there you'll see a pop-up appears. You need to click on as for this pop-up, yes, confirmation, yes. License will be copied. You need to click on next. And Zira has successfully installed on my computer. I can give the admin details here. See here. This is the admin details. You need to enter into the Java Zira whenever you want to log in. I gave the username as admin and the password my own choice. So whenever I need to log into this Jira application, I need to provide these details. So better you copy these details, the username and the password somewhere else for the future login. So yeah, I can choose the avatar and everything is set up. If you do have any other questions, please do ask in the comments and thanks for watching. Have a nice day.